Hello! It's, <laughs> it's Saturday! Yes, and it's actually the day before Caroline returns to school in California for her second year of college, getting smarter by the minute, and that's how it works when you go to college, right? I try. Yeah, she tries. <laughs> Ow, Colton. Jesus, he just tried to bite me. We're off to a, a biting start here. So anyway, yeah, Caroline's been working again at her summer job at an independent bookseller here. I'm wearing this t-shirt, shout out to Trevor at Flat Round and Spun, because I'm the Maracas King. Thank you, Trevor. Anyway, um, yeah, so tell us a bit about the summer at Wellesley Books. So Wellesley Books is a small local bookstore. It's very organized. They have a little bit of everything. The people that work there are great. I went out with some of them last night. Very nice. Um, and then I also get advanced reader copies. So he asked me to have some book recs prepared for this video. They're like promos in uh, in records. I suppose the same difference. Advanced yes. copies only for the bookseller, right? So I have um, a book here that comes out in September that I'm getting to read ahead of time because they like it when the booksellers read them beforehand. So that way, once they're as soon as they hit the shelves, then we're recommending them. So this one is Blue Sisters. If you live in the UK, you can actually get it right now because it's been published. David Atkinson, get out there and buy that. So I read her first <laughs> book called Cleopatra and Frankenstein. That was quite good. The covers are also pretty, so you could just find them and display the covers. It is nice, like album yeah. art. I like it. She gets artists to do them. So, so is this more, generated. is this like what level of, like is this more adult fiction, um, teen fiction? No, these are all adult books. Okay, okay. Um, this is kind of a retelling of Little Woman, in a way. Oh, Little, little, little Women was right here in Concord, Mass. Yeah, we saw but them. they're all over the world in this one. Yeah, okay. All right, the and Blue then, Sisters. This is Rouge by Mona Awad. This book was just okay, but I recommend Bunny by her. But because I liked that book, the adult, per, the adult book buyer at Wellesley Books was able to get the advanced reader copy of the author's new book for me. This one is out. This was last summer, but shout out to, like I'm not going to say her name for her own privacy, but the adult book buyer at Wellesley Books is fantabulous. I love that. It's a jellyfish. Oh yeah, so it is, right? But it also looks like a rose. Exactly. If you read it, you'll find out why. Ooh, okay. And then one of my all-time favorite books is The Idiot, and it is not the classic idiot. Um, the author studied Russian literature post grad, so she what was that Dostoevsky was yeah. yeah. She okay. names all of her books after classics. Classics, and they're all Russian classics. Okay. Um, this is phenomenal. Highly recommend. Well, let's see if it's just a rock on the cover, right? Yes. Okay. You know what that a rock reminds me of? Gary over at Physical Format Rock and Roll. Remember meeting him briefly at the party, Caroline? Right. So what what's down here? What do we have here? So down here we you have can pull them right out and show everybody. All these, which came up on my Spotify, and I said to my dad one night at dinner, I go, <laughs> I just listened to a great new band called All These, and he goes, Wow, no way, I love All These, and he was super excited about it. So then he got this record because we both like it, and then this one is good too. I've listened to it. They're both good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I heard these, these guys on college radio, kind of like dream poppy, kind of slow divey, more pop than that, but great. So it was weird. Clearly, Caroline has good taste, you know, like, you don't like air supply like your mother, right? No. So when Caroline was younger, she really liked these guys, too. Hall and Oates. Yeah. You went through a Hall and Oates phase, right? We all I do. Did. Yeah, I'm still there. Anyway, so, uh. Colton's already, look at this lazy bastard, Caroline, look at him. He's unbelievable. <laughs> He'll come back and see us in the fall. So anyway, um, yeah, so Caroline is out of here tomorrow with Patty. They're catching a jet plane tomorrow afternoon. We're not doing the early bird flight no. this time, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we'll have the morning together before we go to the airport, which is, I love going to the airport. It's really fun. Isn't it fun at the airport? Yeah, it's a blast. So anyway, we'll wish Caroline well. She had a great first year. She's heading into the second one. Um, yeah, it's, it's full on academia. Unlike MGK in the late 80s, it was full on keg fun, but she's buckling down and getting it done, right? Super hot, GPA, high, high, getting that done. So anyway, 
Uh, let's wish Caroline well in the comments. And Caroline, any final words for uh, the vinyl community? I'm looking forward to the next annual VC meetup. Oh, of course. And, you know, our friend Chicago Steve, we didn't get to meet, that made those yeah. great shirts, right? I'm actually taking a couple of the extra extras shirts. to fans of MGK Boston at my school. I have some close friends yeah. who follow the channel quite closely, so they're very excited for this merch, so thank you. All right, and don't forget to plug All the Worlds a Stage, too. And make sure to stop at All the Worlds a Stage. That's... Some really phenomenal videos on that channel. Oh, yeah, he knows it. All right, so we'll say goodbye, everybody. Caroline, high fives. Woo! All right.